I've got a whole bunch of mail here. Now I've got some interesting things. I've got a Banggood item. I think I know what this is. This is pretty cool. And I've even got this box. This is marked Viewer Mail Diff Pom. Now I know who sent this to me. I don't know what's in it yet. We'll find out. But obviously one of my viewers, thank you, has sent me this parcel. Thank you very much. It's always capacitor. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not been here before. It's very important you do that because my subscribers are pretty low right now because I haven't started a new channel. You know, you're starting from scratch basically, makes it hard. Here we have a couple of poton potentiometers. potentiometers. <laughs> so it's a dual gain pot with a switch on the back. Here we go. CB radio, that's what the intention is. Does it say what values are? There's no markings on here to say what value is. So it's on there. No. I've got no idea what value these are. Hmm. Let's find out, shall we? Just out of curiosity. So you want resistance. That's conductance, I want resistance. Let's have a look. Across the ends of the pot. 50k. Check the other one. 50k. Alright, dual 50 going pot. Excellent. It does 50,000 count this thing. And 500,000 count. Pretty good. So these were purchased really for doing CB radio repairs. So I've got a whole bunch of radios which were liquid damaged, flood damaged. And I need to sit down really and get onto the fixing those things up. And a lot of them had bad pots. And the ones that are hardest to get are the volume pots. And so I bought a selection of different ones. And um, hopefully I've got the right ones that I need for doing the various ones. I've got loads of different types of radios and loads of different types of pots will be needed. This is a roll of tape. I think it was double sided, let's try and remember now. It's called 3M anyway, but is it really? Is it? It's a bit sticky. Here's the wax paper or something on the sides. Where's the end? Can you see the end? Just tell me when you find it, will you? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's double sided tape. I bought a few different ones recently. I was thinking I don't actually have any really small double sided tape. The only stuff I've got is quite old and it's not very good anymore. And I thought, well, if I just get some thin stuff, because thin stuff would be handy. Now, I did actually have a specific reason for getting a thin one. The problem is, I don't remember what that reason was. Um, this is why you guys need to watch my videos, because then you can tell me what I bought it for. That sounds like a great plan. Thanks to my supporters, Patreon and otherwise. Give me a thumbs up, this is also support, so don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, if you want to support me that way as well. And also don't forget to check out my other channels. This is obviously just my mailbag channel, or my main channel. So these are just a bunch of like plastic cards. Now these are for doing screen removals and stuff like that. We're trying to do separation of devices. Uh, like normally you know, use a spudger like this or something like that. And some things you can use these, but they're sometimes they're a bit too thick and a bit too harsh. Any sign really thin, we should just get in there without putting too much stress on things like the screen. That way you can just like cut through the adhesives on the edge of the screen and get the screen off without damaging it or risking flexing it and cracking it and that sort of stuff. So bought a little section of these, they're pretty cheap. So they're a bit inks down below for these things. Handy things to have. I'll get to the boxes soon. Actually, I'll do the Banggood one after this one, okay? Because you have something music, then it's still got the big box here on the viewer email. Email, it's not an email, it's a real mail. <laughs> uh, oh, it's some more tape. So this is narrower than the first one. I think the third one's probably about three millimeters. This one's probably about one millimeter, I'm guessing. In fact, I guess you use a PCB ruler and find out. That's two millimeters. The first one I showed you is you know, definitely side, five millimeters, probably. Yeah, five mil. My estimates are pretty bad, aren't they? <laughs> Twice as bad as I thought. I think it's double sided as well. Yeah, this is double sided tape too. Yeah, it's like a double sided foam. I got this for something as well. I don't bloody remember what. It'll be handy one day. I don't know. I bought it for something. Okay, let's do the bang good one. And I've still got a couple of smaller ones, and I'll do the, the viewer mail and check that one out. Let's look at the bang good one first. This will be a sponsorship item, I expect anyway, I think it is. Yes it is. Anyone want to take bets about what it is? Anyone? 
Huh? It's a Unity Pro UTI 260B. There you go, and there's the info off the back. So the 260 is the best one, uh, potentially for 25 frames per second, potentially. It's got all the extra features on it, all the high stuff. So this has got very similar on paper specifications as another one I saw someone mention not long ago, which is how I found this thing. And they had actually reviewed a camera from the manufacturer. I think it was MJ Morton. He actually did a review on a camera. And it's from the manufacturer of the optics, the actual um, infrared sensor. And I was looking at the specs for that thing, and it looks pretty cool. And uh, then I had to browse in Braingood, and I saw this one pop up, and the specs looked basically identical, like it's the same sensor. So I thought, let's see if Banggood will send me one. And they did. Good on you, Banggood. Well done. So, like I said, Banggood. No cost from Banggood. There you go. Make sure you go and visit the links down below. <laughs> I'm very happy about getting this. So I'm going to be doing a proper review on this on my main channel, not on this channel, or on the review channel. Review channel is still too new. Um, it doesn't have enough subscribers on there yet to do reviews on there really, because I need to get, get enough exposure for the people who send me these items. So this will still be on my main channel, which will, you know, everyone knows what it is, don't you? It'll be linked down below anyway, in the description. So let's have a quick look at this. But I'll be doing a proper review on the main channel. If I can get the thing out of the box. I can't lift off because it's got set of tape holding it shut. Did you read those specs properly? Did you see them before? I mean, I showed them, but could you read them? Yeah, here you go. That's kind of focused there. Freeze that picture, can't you? Come on. It's always the fun bit, isn't it? So a little peek inside, but obviously this isn't going to be a proper review. This is going to be a bit of a, a sneak peek at what's going to be in the review. Foam, nice packaging. Manual. Let's have a look at the manual. Because it gives you immersivity. I can't say. I can never say this word. Emissivity. There we go. The various materials because it matters when you're trying to get accurate readings. That's a pretty comprehensive manual. Actually, it's pretty good. Oh, fun, fast Chinese. Looks like. But sick and nice English. That's good. That actually looks right. I'll have to read that later. So here is the camera. It feels quite weighty actually. Surprisingly heavy. And in here, I think. What's that? Got a USB cable of some kind. USB C to USB cable and 16 gig SD card as well. That's what comes with it. Nice. Probably no battery, isn't it? Which side does the battery go into? Probably the side. No, was it rechargeable? Actually, I think it might be rechargeable. Yes, it was. So I'm going to have to charge this up most likely. So it's up there. So SD card goes in there and USB. Let's see if it's got any power in it, eh? Get it all power up. Hey, it's got power. Excellent. So you may have seen my previous thermal camera. I've got one which I fixed years ago. I don't know, two, probably three years ago. One of my very early videos, I bought a little thermal camera. It's only, I think it's a 60 by 60 resolution, something like that. It's quite poor. And it was faulty when I got it. It was badly manufactured. I had a manufacturing fault, I should say. Uh, English, yes. Cool. Now what? <laughs> yeah, do you think I should read the manual? English? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do next. Um, anyone? It seems to be stop there. Hmm. Curious. I guess I have to figure this out and I have to read the manual. Anyway, as I was saying, the um, I'll turn it off again for now. I'll get back to that. The one I did purchase before, which had very low resolution, which I repaired. I did some videos on it repair. I did I think three videos, I think two or three videos on it. And that was a manufacturing fault we had that on that particular camera. And those are fairly expensive cameras, you know, considering this particular camera here is about twice the price of that one. And the resolution is much higher. Um, did it say it was on the back here? Did it say? It should do, shouldn't it? 256 by 192 infrared resolution. Okay, so that's what this one is. This is significantly higher pixel density than the other one. I might have to charge it up first. Let's try turning it on again. Hmm. 
Come on. Come on, baby. I need this to work. I need, I need a decent thermal camera. You wanted to get a decent thermal camera for ages. And I'll, it's the, like, finally got an opportunity to get a decent one. Well, this is a high resolution camera, you know, this is the thing. Here we go, we're in now. So, yes, it is working. Look at that resolution on that. Awesome. Frame rate's not bad. It's not too bad, really. It's pretty accurate, look at that. It's got a few little pauses in there, we're obviously doing calculations about hot spots on my hand, but, uh, that's right. Nice, it's working. Cool. Battery's a little bit flat, I'll give it a charge up. So yeah, make sure you check out the review video on this thing. I'm, I'm going to be playing with this, doing a review video. I've got to charge it up properly first. I'm very thrilled about that. It's excellent. So thank you much Banger for sending it to me at no cost. Make sure you check the links out down below for this thing because it's a good camera. For the, for the money, it's excellent price as well. I mean, thermal cameras aren't cheap, but this has got good resolution and, you know, it seems to have very good specs my first impression there from getting the screen going is it looks good right let's move on and get some other stuff done more we've got more packages yet i should have actually said this is a mega mailbag actually because i've got so many things to open and we've got some more pcb rulers oh, i thought i got them all i guess i still had time to come here's some more pcb rulers <laughs> um, i've already been getting a few of them they all have very slight differences on them sometimes they're exactly the same but usually there's some subtle differences, you've got different footprints on them. Handy things to have when you're doing, trying to do designs and trying to lay out a board, stuff like that. You're not quite sure how big something's actually going to be. You know, sometimes you know, you know, but you don't really know, if you know what I mean. You know? <laughs> Handy things to have, so I've got a, quite a few of these now. I'll take longer to actually find the ruler I need than actually just look up the part. Hmm. Don't forget, I'm also over on Library as well. I've got a Library channel and uh, Utreon, I'm on there too. Odyssey, Live's new name is Odyssey, I'm on there too. So if you ever have issues with YouTube going down, because that never happens, um, then you can find me over there too. So make sure you've got those options bookmarked. I think I'll links down below for my library channel anyway, but YouTube on and as, as well. Spit the stuff around a bit. So, capacitors. What do you have here? I was getting some actual caps because I didn't have enough. Ah, 2.2 microfarad, 450 volt, excellent. So I need these for my Solotron, which you probably just saw the video on, on my main channel. I expect, yeah, this, this video should come out a week after the Solotron one. So yes, you should see that. Uh, I actually need one microfarad, 350 volt, which is what's in here, but I think I'm gonna upgrade it. because if I can get a 2.2 microfarad in there, it'll be an upgrade. So uh, I might do that. I've also got some 470, oh, sorry, 47 microfarad, 100 volts. These are jack on. What are these? Jack on and jack on. So these are basically what I can get from RS. Um, this is like the RS brand is jack on. And sometimes you have to sort of compromise a bit with what you can actually get. I think these have still got decent ratings on them. 105 degree rated. 105 degree. And 105 degree. So they're all, you know, good spec. But, you know, it's okay. It's not something that's going to get used a lot anyway. But this is my Solotron 7075, is it? I've just been recapping the power supply on that thing. I did a video on that, which will be on my other channel, which I would have just published, hopefully. And I needed one more capacitor, and I didn't have it. That's what I stopped up these for. Oh, it's a bag inside a bag. That's always interesting. And it's like a spudger set. Oh, I don't remember buying a spudge set, but I guess I did. <laughs> oh, yes, actually, now I remember. I do remember now. That's right. A bit of links for this down below, too. So it's got this stainless steel one here, which is really thin, and it should be quite strong. How good it is, I don't know. How good the steel is, don't know. It's definitely stainless anyway. It's got a lot of flex in it. It's like spring steel. The opening tool is called. So I thought I'd get one of these, I mean, I've seen other people using them on their videos and I thought, well, I don't have anything like that. Sometimes you need something really thin and strong. And a lot of the other things I've got are a bit too thick sometimes for that kind of work. And having a really thin one is really handy, so I got mainly for that. 
They've also got some of these plastic sponges as well. These come in handy too sometimes. Um, these are slightly like wedge shaped ones you can get into things, push push in. That's quite good as well. Got some metal ones. They actually feel pretty good. Pretty strong actually. They feel pretty good. I've had one of these things before. Um, I haven't got any of it right now, but I've had one of these. It looks very much like this, but different. Didn't feel as good. Felt a lot lighter as well actually. And that just bent too easy. So this actually feels pretty good. This feels like a decent set. Maybe links to this in down below. You always see good spudges. Okay, the time has come. We've got the viewer mail. Hope you've been hanging on for this one. Let's forget to get into it. I'm guessing where the duct tape is. Thank you to the person who sent me this. You know who you are. They asked to remain anonymous. Didn't want me to say who they were. That's fine. I might have to use a real knife actually. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to use a real knife. The brown knife isn't cutting it too well. Oh yeah, there we go. It's going. Excellent. We're doing the right place. Let's come down here. Right. We're in. <laughs> uh, nice. How's that? Look at that. That's a nice hint. Thank you very much. Become a Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Let's have a look. Let me a little note. Let's have a look at this before we get into the box. I'll pause this and come back. Okay, here's the note and it's giving me instructions about what I should open in what order. So we shall do that. Oh, it's packaged up really well. Look at this. It's all labelled with pull tabs and cut lines. <laughs> Packing. It's just packing, is it? All right, packing around the box there as well. So two little boxes. Now, unfortunately, now one of the things that one of the pumps I've got right now is that the note says that one of these items is for Mrs. Death Pom. Now, Mrs. Death Pom is currently out. So what I'm going to have to do is put that particular item here, which is number two, to one side. In fact, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave one and two to one side because it looks like they might be together. So I'll, I'll put these to one side. So we can, I'll open those when Mrs. Death Pom comes along. She's uh, currently out visiting friends. So I should put these and we'll open these when she gets back. So now we can move on to these next parts. Green packet is number two. Next item, number two. So have a pull tab. Unwrap that. What do we have in here? Oh, this looks curious. Oh, it's got a cable on the top. Interesting. That looks like a thermocouple cable, I'm not quite sure though. Well packaged. It did say it'd be DEFCON approved. DEFCON approved packaging. Oh, I think I can see what this is. Oh, it's a Nixie clock. Very nice. We're going to plug this thing in. High voltage adjustment, I hope I don't need to touch that. Temperature sensor on there. GPS, oh, really? GPS? Oh, I suppose it's getting automatic clock, automatic time. Mode down, up, temperature. Cool, I guess that temperature probe goes in here. Okay. USB and 12 volt power. I'm guessing one or the other. Oh, that's awesome, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. I have to make a gap on my desk. Shouldn't be that hard. I can make a gap here somewhere. I've got it ready. I've got a 12 volt power supply just here. We've got a 12 volt here. Let's plug this in. Haven't tried this yet. Oh, lights up. I'll just get some lighting turned down a bit so you can see a bit better. There we go. Oh, look at that. Lovely. <laughs> and let's see if we've got the right time. <laughs> cool. Look at that, beautiful. Now I need to put this on my desk somewhere. I need to find a gap for this. Very nice, thank you very much. So what else have we got? So it's got a mode button over here, so look at that. Push that. I've got this sensor plugged in, which I think is a thermocouple. 
Looks like it's only a couple to me. We've got date, is it? Month, day, year. Obviously, it's Americanized format because normally I miss the month, uh, day, month, year, but that's fine. As long as you know what you're getting. And what's this one? Zeros. Don't know what that does. 12. Don't know what that does. 26.8. Point nine. Oh, it's a temperature. My thing over here is currently saying 26. Let's hold on to it and see what happens. Yep, there we go. Temperature. Beautiful. And back to time again. It's called an Arduino Shield Nixie IN14. So there's probably information about this online. There's also this web address here, GRA hyphen afch.com so GIA and AFCH because that's a joint effort to make this thing I'm guessing and there's the inside there look at that there's a lot going in there I saw what it just did then when it rolled around it showed the temperature again so it's obviously showing the time for a while and it flicks around and then it shows temperature that's what it just did actually it looks pretty cool in the background like that doesn't it what else is in here this is packing but there's something in it. Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing in there. Okay. Uh, it's like a little storage box thing. That could be handy. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> Big plastic box is getting out. And. Oh, right. He even gave me a power supply to run the Nixie thing. I hate one sitting here anyway on my desk, so I just plugged that one in. But. It gave me a power supply for it as well. Now, the person that sent this to me is in Australia, so it should be exactly the same power supply. It is. Same socket. So. Cool. I've still got to need one anyway to run it, because the one I've used, I've used for other stuff, so it's like a bench supply I use for things, so I will need one to plug in to run it continuously anyway. What's in here? So we've got this plastic case full of interesting bits. For a rainy day, apparently. Oh, this is the Kickstarter thing, is it? Seven IN12Bs, which I'm guessing are the Nixies, because I can see a couple of Nixies in there. Seven sockets. Seven 15Bs, is it? Seven 15As. Power. Those must be um, power supplies. Or a power supply. It's like a big step up converter, or could be a step up, I'm not sure. Be boost. Programs on Kickstarter. Successful Kickstarter on the Tindy. Clock, multi multimeter, and subscribers. Okay. For a rainy day, yeah, cool. So that's like a whole kit. So that's obviously the PCB for it, which is already in programs. It's got the mic controller on already. High voltage, you not touch, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> You're playing with tubes, it's going to be high. That was the sun back here. Here we go, it's got some information about the unit. Nixie tube driver, that's what that's called. What's that? D O A Y E dot co dot UK. Alright, show me information on the website about it as well. Thank you very much. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, so basically, I think this. Unit here is basically a kit where you can build it into anything you want and you program it as you require it. So I think it's basically it's a driver board, which the Nixes are then also used on. This basically powers the Nixes, and you have some kind of input you use on this, probably a serial connection or some kind, and then you can tell it to do what you want, to display whatever you want, just to obviously numbers. So apparently some programs already set up for it on Tindy and Kickstarter. So I have to go and look those up. I like to get things whilst they're available because who knows what it might be, you know, in a couple of years' time, they might be gone. So, uh, but this is a project for one day. I built something interesting out of that, so thank you very much. So, that was a really interesting thing. I mean, that's, I think, it's only the second ever viewer's item I've had sent to me. I've had one before, which is a whole bunch of uh, miscellaneous items like um, electrical parts, things like that, spare parts, which weren't needed anymore by someone, and they just basically gave me a whole bunch of bits very handy little bits and pieces too so you know that's the first one i had and obviously now i've got this one which is obviously nixie tube related 
which I've had no experience with Nixie tubes. Obviously, I've seen them. Everyone's seen Nixie tubes, and you know they're already you know cool things, cool technology, being brought back to life in modern age, I suppose. That's really cool. I, I need to uh, make a space for this. I will have to do something. <laughs> I can make space. There's always a ability to make space. Bitch, you know, looks this good. That's nice. So thank you very much for sending that in to me, Mr. Mysterious Person, who shall be unnamed. Unless you want to be named, then you can act yourself in the comments. <laughs> so, yes, thank you very much. So that is a cool mailbag. That is a lot of stuff, and it took a long time to get through it all. But it is a brilliant one, and I'm happy that I've got two really cool, cool things. You obviously got the viewer mail, which I'm really happy about that. You know, that's a nice buzz, I suppose. And I've got this thermal camera from Bangor, which I'm going to do a review on. So it's been a good day today. I even fixed some stuff. Honest. It's nothing to do with electronics. I fixed my garage door. It's broken. But that's besides the point. I fixed something today. Well, I figured out how to use this clock a bit better. I've actually found the manual for this thing online. So I've been playing with it. So I've changed it to 24 hour clock. Because I prefer 24 hour clocks. I've set up the date differently as well. You can actually swap it from month, day, year to day, month, year. Which is how I put it. And look, you've got 20, 11, 20. It's mirrored. It's like my OCD is right. Well, actually, it'd be O2, wouldn't it be mirrored? It's it's close. I mean, you know what I mean. It's like symmetrical, I suppose. It's it balances quite nicely. I like that. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. So I've changed those around. This is an alarm feature which I haven't got turned on. I've changed 24 o'clock just here, and also the temperatures there. And it also has a lighting system, which you saw it turned on. I'll turn this on now. It's got these LED lights built into it. And you can choose which colour you want. It will like cycle through the colours. Then you can choose which colour you actually want to run it on. This is a colour I quite like. It kind of complemented the, the uh, mixes quite well. But this gets cycling again. You can see this, it's RGB. So you can pretty much choose whatever colour you want, really. You have to stop it when it gets the one you want. I mean, it's green. I quite like green. No, it's gone yellow now. I missed it. But yeah, it's, it's alright. But... I think the LEDs, I like they look nice. It kind of detracts a little bit from the next season. I mean, I like the next season to be the feature because they're cool. Right, let's open these up. Mrs. is back. This is Mrs. Death Bomb's box. We didn't tell what you will. Okay, open it up. I'm gonna go bang, is it? I don't know. Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, it's one of my cups. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. Yay! <laughs> well, I guess mine's also a cup then. It is. <laughs> I'll prepare now. Look, look at that. Mm. Bookings. Cheers. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you want to check out the review on this thing, make sure you subscribe to my other channel and look at that. Watch out for that video coming up in uh, the near future. This might be too far away. Usually I do reviews within a couple of weeks of receiving the items. Anything you want to say in the comments, advice on these things, how to use these. Um, I'll have to do some research myself and figure out how to use them properly myself because I've got no experience. But if you've got any advice, chuck it down in the comments down below as well. I'm sure lots of people out there have been playing with Nixies and I haven't. So, <laughs> obviously, high voltages. First thing I know, I do know there's high voltages. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.